Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anselie Olson. Today we're gonna paint a tulip. Let's get started. Today's video is super fun and super easy. All you need is a pencil, some watercolor paper, and some watercolor paint, paper towels, brushes, and water. Our watercolor paints we're using today are these liquid watercolors, but you guys can use any colors you have. All you need are some beautiful bright colors for painting flowers. Yeah. We're gonna draw a tulip, actually. We're gonna draw three tulips because that way we get to paint three different colors if we want to, right? So we're gonna start with a tulip right in the middle. And as long as you know how to draw the letter U, you can do a tulip. So let's start with a big letter U in the middle of our paper. I want to leave space, lots of space for my other tulips. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now in the middle of our tulip down here, we're going to take a curved line and connect the top of our U all the way down to that middle point. And we'll do that on both sides. And those are the outer petals of the tulip. Good. And then in the middle, you draw a center petal. And it's just an upside down smile or an upside down U. Or, an, or a frown. Now for the other two tulips, we're gonna put them on either side of our center one. You can decide to make them kind of tipping outward a little bit. So we can make this U kind of like it's tipping sideways a little bit. And then draw your connecting curves. And then your center petal, which is an upside down U right in the middle. And then for the one on the right, let's make it tipping the other way, tipping to the right. So we're gonna have a whole bouquet here, aren't we? A whole garden of tulips. And then again, you connect with a curved line down to the middle. And if you wanna make the shape a slightly different shape, you can do that. You can add extra petals in the back if you want to. Instead of one U, you can put a couple of U's like this to make it look like there's just an extra petal in there. Or keep them really simple like that. That's perfect. Now, we're gonna do the stems next. And the stems are just gonna be straight lines that come all the way down. Let's do the middle one. Can you draw a straight line? It's kinda of hard, isn't it? Yeah. We'll cover it with paint too. And then I think since our center flower is in the front, we'll say, we're gonna draw its leaves right away. And the leaves, you can start at the bottom of your stem and just do a swooping curvy line up. I'll like do almost I'll do almost the bottom of the stem. Sure. And the leaves don't come up all the way to the flower height. They're just a little shorter than the flower head. But you can make them different heights and different shapes. One can be bigger than another. And you can draw a line in the center. Just make sure it's curvy. Tulip leaves aren't straight leaves. They kind of curve around. And then for the other stems, I'm gonna draw my back stem behind the leaf, like that. So whatever design is pleasing to you, that's how you can make your flowers. I'm gonna add a couple more leaves behind that first one. And then once you're happy with your leaves and with your flowers, those look great. We're ready to paint. Yours looks really beautiful. Yours too. So we're gonna squeeze out some colors on our palette and then we'll be ready to start. Right, so you ready to grab your brush? I wet my brush first with the water jar and I tap the excess water along the side of the jar so it's not super wet. That way it's not soaking. And then I'm gonna start with this pink color. I'm just dabbing my brush gently in it. 
and I'm going to just start painting on the petals of my first flower. I think I'll, I think I'll do some color. It's pretty. It's so bright. And you should have enough paint to cover the whole flower. For the petal in the back, I'm watering it down a little bit and just making it a little bit lighter. And then I'm taking some dark paint and just dabbing it in at the bottom of the petal so that it blends nicely. Ooh, I love the color on that. And rinse your brush before you use a different color. That's a good rule. Yeah, make sure to remove any excess water. Nice. There's also yellow tulips. There are yellow tulips. Do you want to make a yellow one? Yeah. Sure, good idea. I'll paint a yellow one too. So I'm going to make the one on the right yellow. And I'm going to paint it all over with the yellow first. And then I might go back in and dab some orange in it. I'll show you how you can do that. Some tulips have like orange and pink in the center of them. So I added some orange, I dabbed it in, and then I rinsed my brush and I'm smoothing it out so that it looks nice and blended. I think I'm gonna add some red stripes to this yellow flower. That's a great idea. Yep, good job. You blot it on your paper towel and then blend. And look at, and we have some pictures on Pinterest of our tulips and the shape of the orange. If you look at mine too, just kind of goes up and down following the shape of the petals. So you'll want to rinse your brush and kind of dry it almost all the way. Make sure it's almost dry all the way. And hold your brush closer to the tip so you can control it a little better. Take all the water off on your paper towel and then smooth out your red. Mm -hmm. You want to bring it all the way down to the base of the flower like I did with this one? So pull the paint down, yeah. Try to stay inside of your lines. All right, rinse your brush, let's do another color. For the one in the middle, I'm gonna do this bright red right here. I'm gonna start by just painting it all the way on, just a really dark, rich color. Now you can actually lift paint out if it gets too dark in one section and you want to go a little lighter. You can take what's called a thirsty brush, which is where your brush is rinsed and you drop, dab it on the paper towel so that it's almost dry and then you can lift out some paint with that brush. You may have a little too much water on your brush. You may need to dry it first. All right, I think those look really good the way they are. The only thing I would do would maybe be to smooth out some of that red with, dry your brush first, it's too watery. And then maybe just pull the side of the paint to blend it a little better. So take your brush on the side of it like this, watch. And you can just gently blend it so it looks softer and not like just a splotch. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Good. You ready to paint some stems and leaves? Yeah. Okay, over here, I'm gonna mix up a little of the green and the yellow, and I'm gonna start painting the leaves. Really, you can just kinda color in your lines here. And if you want, you can start with one swooping paintbrush stroke of green, and then dry your brush and grab some yellow and put down some yellow right next to the green. And watch how the colors just blend on the paper. It's really fun to see. The 
The paper we're using today is just a Strathmore watercolor paper and it's not expensive at all. It's one of the cheaper papers, which means it's not made with cotton. So it's not going to absorb the paint quite as well as a cotton watercolor paper, but it works really, really great for this kind of quick illustrative painting style. Try adding some yellow into your leaves. I think that looks really cool when you mix yellow and green and let them go next to each other on the paper. So the colors are side by side. I had a little bit of indigo in my palette, which is making this almost black color on the leaf, and I like it. That's this one here. You can use that for shading at the bottom to make some of the leaves darker. And when you have more contrast, do you remember that word? Yeah. Contrast is when you have lights and darks in a painting or a drawing, and that looks very realistic when you have lots of contrast. So yeah, we're throwing in some nice dark colors so that we have a variety of lights and darks. If you want, you can take a little bit of yellow and do some of the far, farther away leaves just a little bit lighter. Careful not to touch any of your wet flowers. Oh, I love it. Are you done? Let's move the pencils out of the way, out of the way and we'll show everybody our finished tulip paintings. Those look beautiful. Great job. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.